All right, so this is a Unisil. It is one of the greatest inventions ever made, if I'm going to be honest. Um, you use this to put usually along the walls of tanks, and then you put a pipe through here, and the the, the diameter of the seal is actually uh, smaller than the pipe. So when the pipe goes through, it actually pushes against the walls of the missile and by extension the walls of the missile push against the, the tank and that makes a seal. So that's why they're so great because you don't have to use any pipes to make and you don't have to worry about them leaking. There's one one part and it's it can be difficult to install but it's quite once you get the hang of it it's quite easy. So what you need? So this is a two-inch uni seal, and a two-inch uni seal to work, you need to use a three-inch hole saw. This is called a hole saw, and it's three inches. So you can see that it's actually bigger than the diameter of the pipe, but it just it's just the right size for the uni seal. So before I get to drill, um, I get started with drilling this hole. Let me tell you some things you need besides the actual you see itself. Like I said, you need a 3 inch hole saw and a capable drill. And you need some soap water. This is very important. <laughs> the, the back of the seal actually says loose pipe with soap water. And this is when you're putting the pipe through the seal. And this is an important step that a lot of people miss. And I'm going to show you another step that I take that makes it even, that makes it even easier to get uh, to get the pipe through the seal. All right. So, and gloves are always. It's always important to have some gloves. Gloves are always handy. So, with that said, with that being said, let's get started. Have them work. Let's go. So you want to start slow first. You want to start slow first and remember put the, the drill in reverse. And once you get a nice groove going, you can go ahead and apply some more pressure to the drill. And increase the speed as well. So we went straight through and we are just, we are just where the current water level is. Here's the uniseal and whoop, that's it. It goes in just like that, nice and snug. And now well, get some sandpaper, I use 60 grit and you could just take it like this and And once that's done, get some soap water, use regular dishwashing liquid, and then you could and you lube up the seal with it. This step is those two steps are very important. If you miss out those two steps, 90% of the time you will not get any pipe through the seal. Because like I said, this is how it makes it seal, so if it doesn't go in tight, it won't work at all. So put some salt water on the um, the pipe as well. All right, it's all but in, and there you have it. Uniseal installed. Alright, so that wasn't too hard. So let me take you closer quickly. There you go. 
you see the pipe has been installed so that's it we install the seal and push the pipe straight through and that's it that's how you install the uni seal remember some sandpaper this is 60 grit uh, um, some gloves and of course soap water whether we dishwashing liquid or liquid detergent um, those are your best friends when installing uni seals let's talk about why you would use a uni seal as opposed to a bulkhead fitting now bulkhead fitting is basically just like a male and a female uh, PVC fitting these are threaded fittings by the way and they would so you put one on the inside and one on the outside and you sandwich them together now the problem with those is that if the surface is, isn't even so a 55 gallon drum when those two flat surfaces try to meet on a curved surface uh, they, they, would, they would not butt close to, to create a good watertight seal so you have to use a lot of silicone or something so that's why that's another reason why uni seals are so great to use. We sell them at Waterponics by the way. We only stock the 2 inch and the 1 inch ones because we find those are the, the most common sizes. One is with $12 for the 2 inch and the 1 inch one is $8. That, those are Barbados dollars. Um, for the 1 inch one you need a one and three quarter inch hole saw and for the two inch one you need a three inch hole saw okay